to a new episode of Food Times, Russian Blue Times. Today I'm gonna do the most fantastic turkey breast fillets with Jerusalem artichoke puree and a reduced cream sauce with a touch of Madeira. I love breasts, I, I mean turkey breast fillets, and I'm gonna cook them in a sous vide for over five hours so they will be amazingly juicy and tasty. Let's go Sasha, okay? I'll take two fillets and put some salt and pepper on it. Then I cut some fresh parsley and put on. Finally, I cut some thin slices of butter that make it complete. Now I put the fillets in the vacuum bag and seal them with a vacuum packer. I set the sous vide at 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees at the Fahrenheit scale and loads the fillets in the water. Okay, so the turkey breast fillets has now been in the sous vide for about four and a half hour. And now we will do the most amazing reduced cream sauce with Madeira touch. And here we have all the ingredients. <clears throat> we of course have the Madeira wine, we have some water, whipped cream, tomato puree, salt and pepper of course, and we also have some uh, chicken bouillon to cube. And uh, of course uh, some corn rescue to make the sauce get a little bit more thick. And uh, some, um, uh, some uh, butter that we will fry the shallots in. Uh, we will uh, have one to two shallots depending on the size of them. That's all. And now we're gonna mix it all together. Cut the shallots into small pieces and place in the saucepan. Fry the shallots in butter and put one and a half deciliters of Madeira wine and take three deciliters of water and add two tablespoons of tomato puree and then you stir it. Add the chicken bouillon cube and stir again. Now it should boil for 10 to 20 minutes so that it is reduced. Meanwhile I'll do the Jerusalem artichoke puree. Take 600 grams of Jerusalem artichoke and about 800 grams of potatoes. Peel the potatoes and Jerusalem artichokes and first put potatoes and chicken bouillon cube in boiling water and let the potatoes boil for about five to six minutes and then you add the Jerusalem artichoke and let it boil for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now many things happen at the same time. The potatoes and Jerusalem artichokes are boiling. The cream sauce is reducing and I heat the frying pan and add butter. The turkey breast fillets have now been in the sous vide for over five hours and I let it rest for some minutes. I pour off the water from the potatoes. I strain the sauce 
and I fry the fillets on a fairly high heat so that they will have a nice surface. And it is important not to fry too long. We do not want them to be cooked more, but to keep the wonderful juiciness. Now I pour back the strained sauce in the saucepan and add 2 deciliters of cream and stir. I mix potatoes and Jerusalem artichoke with an electric whisk and help a little bit with a potato stomper. Add 3 deciliters of cream, 50 grams of butter into the bowl with potatoes and Jerusalem artichoke and mix it again with electric whisk. Add some corn rescue to the sauce to make it thicken a bit and stir again. Cut the turkey breasts into 2 to 3 cm slices and place them on a serving platter. Put the artichoke puree in a serving bowl. Add some more rescue, stir and taste the sauce. Add some pepper if you need. And now I'm satisfied. The sauce has perfect consistency. Keep it warm while we wait for the guests to arrive. And Sasha takes the opportunity to lick some of the meat juice. Now the guests are on their way in and I serve the food. Sasha, she checks that everything looks good. Thinks I get approved by her. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the dish. Within a couple of weeks I'll post the next episode and then I'll talk about when Sasha went outside for the first time in a harness. I wish you good and remember to press subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get updates. So long!